Hello everyone, my name is Andre Niemeyer from Subconnect. I'm here with Bob Long from Bob's Mission Surf Shop. We've been great friends and uh, he has been early on on the scene. In fact, my first stand-up paddle board was bought from this man right here. And uh, since then he has cut hundreds of stand-up paddles and today he hopes to give you some insight in terms of how you can cut your stand-up paddle. Check it out. Before we get started, we want to make sure all our tools are out and ready to go. What we will need will be a tape measure for measuring, masking tape, a marking pen, some way to cut the paddle, whether we use an electric saber saw, a hacksaw, or what I like to use is the carbide grit rod saw uh, in a uh, hacksaw frame. Also sandpaper, glue, mixing bucket, and towels to wipe up the mess with. step will be measure out the, the length we need, determine how long it's going to be, make any deductions for the T-top, tape the shaft, and mark the 79 and a half inches. The reason we tape the shaft is to give us a clean visual mark and to keep the carbon fiber from shredding on the cut. Next step, we will be using a miter box today to help keep the blade straight and hold the paddle in place as we're cutting it. You can cut it by hand without using a miter box, just holding it on a very steady workbench. Here I'm using the hacksaw with the carbide blade in it and we're starting to make our cut. As you're coming through your cut, make sure you slow down at the end so that you don't tear the carbon fiber on your cut through. Take the sandpaper now and finish out the edge. Take off any burrs inside and outside of the shaft. We'll also sand up the T-top so that we have some grip. We're ready to glue. We will be using a waterproof epoxy quick set glue. We will be squirting out equal parts of the epoxy glue into our mixing cup. Just use enough for the job at hand. As we mix the glue, it will turn a milky white color and make sure that it has a nice smooth consistency. We're ready to apply the glue. First coating the inside of the shaft to make sure all the surfaces are covered. Then we will apply the glue to the neck of the T-top all the way around making sure that there's no air bubbles or dry spots. We are ready to insert the T-top into the shaft being careful to spread the glue evenly. Wipe up any excess glue. Make sure none's on your fingers. Now we're going to sight down the shaft and make sure that the T-top is in line with the edge of the blade. Once we get the T-top aligned correctly, we'll apply masking tape to hold it in place and let it dry. It takes about five minutes for the glue to set. Looks like the handle is set perfectly. Now let's remove the tape and clean up and we're all done. So there you have it, our paddle is now complete. We showed you the tools we used and the steps taken. We hope this has been helpful for you. If you are a beginning paddler, we would suggest applying a protective guard on the edge of your paddle. This will help in keeping the paddle in good condition and keep you from dinging the rails of your board.